Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another episode of Dr. Scotton. Uh, today is January 1st, 2018, so Happy New Year. The time is approximately 16.45 hours, that's uh, 4.45 p.m. for you civilians out there. And we are in colorful northern Colorado, or NOCO as the natives say. Um, today, we are starting a new venture. Actually, we're two days into this new adventure. And we are breeding the American white-footed mouse for, hopefully, laboratory experiment purposes, as well as breeder, I mean, uh, feeders. Um, so, let's take a look inside. Let's get a little closer, shall we? There we go. So we're working with a one to five ratio, one male to five females. They are not showing any signs of aggression, no signs of mating, and no signs of nesting as of yet. And I may even have a dead one here. Nope, just sleeping. Okay, so I don't have room for a wheel, so I put in lots of uh, cardboard um, for them to take and play with. Uh, gave them fresh food and water. I added baking soda to the bottom of the aspen bedding um, for uh, freshness. I saw it on YouTube, thought it was a great, great idea. Uh, water bottles are measured water bottles. Um, I put in four ounces this morning. So far, they have consumed two ounces. Um, so we are monitoring their water intake. And uh, if I need to, I'll increase it. Uh, it's just regular tap water. Of course, it's coming from Colorado. So it's the best tap water in the, in the country. Um, Let's see, the food is a seed, fruit, and pellet mix, strictly for lab mice, or laboratory mice and rats. Um, the uh, bedding, as I said, was aspen bedding. The tub design is just basically some storage tubs that I got from Home Depot. I took and put little holes along the ends, all the way or on the, along the top, all the way around. I don't know if that's going to be enough ventilation. Please let me know in, in the comments below. I am thinking about putting uh, little um, computer fans inside and adjusting their speed for uh, a slight draft um, to take and circulate the air inside. Uh, each cage cost me about $15 for the entire setup. Another $15 uh, for the um, for the six mice. Um, as I got high quality white footed mice um, for this experiment. So that's cage one. This is cage two. Same thing, same setup. These uh these mice seem to be a little more active over here. This colony is a little bit more active um, as far as, as movement and playfulness and things like that. So We'll see how that one that one turns out. Again, no signs of aggression. There's no fighting. Uh, there's no uh, there's no mating that I've seen anyway, um, and no signs of nesting. Um, do, 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 do. Same you know, exact same setup with the aspen bedding and the baking soda, the water bottles, all the same. So this this was um, this was thirty dollars. This was thirty dollars. Um, so we're starting out with two. Uh, just in case we have any debts in the families and um, to uh, to take and increase the amount of breeding. Uh, they do have the hanging food trays um, that they're easily uh, easily accessible and they end up tossing the food out of anyway. And the mice, um, the mice, the food and the bedding I got from Scales and Tails. Uh, Scales and Tails is a local, um, is a local pet store here in Northern Colorado. It's also one of the largest 
uh, reptile pet stores in um, in the Northwest. Uh, I use them for advice uh, as far as how to take and, and breed. Um, I also uh, consult a, a local veterinarian who also helps me, um, you know, keep everything humane and uh, and within order. Um, so. That's all I got for today. Again, this is the second day. I am going to make daily updates, so be uh, be ready to see what we got for tomorrow. And uh, put your comments and concerns down at the bottom. Help me take and make their lives better. And uh, we can grow some, uh, some better laboratory mice. And uh, if anybody you know needs a feeder or whatever, I might have some available here soon. Um, that's it that's all i got so comments and concerns down below don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for daily updates and uh, we'll see you tomorrow